what is up youtube all right guys so today i am going to be remaking my pond lab tutorial i do think that the pond lab is one of the more exciting labs in the game bless uh, my old video needed some refinement anyway uh, there are also some new materials in the game that they finally released uh, weapon upgrade materials that you'll get to see as well down there in the lab on the map, we are located in the bottom right-hand corner of the pond area, or bottom right-hand corner-ish. Uh, you can use the armed raspberry punch juice box to locate yourself if you need a marker. Uh, what I did literally was I just jumped on this little stick here and traversed these three lily pads to get where I am here. So if you don't know how to get here, uh, it's fairly easy. A pre-expedition checklist, some items that you may need or want. You will need a slime lantern. Uh, there are some dark parts down there that you need to um, traverse through, that you will need some kind of light to see. I do also recommend, or if not recommend, it is necessary to have the bone dagger. There is soggy root that you need to cut away if you do in fact want access to the molars down there as well. And then, as always, armor, bubble helmet, and fin flops. You can bring extra armor down there with you, but you really only have to fight Tazbots. Um, you can pretty much just swim past the spiders. So, um, yeah, so some mutations that you may want. Uh, the coup de grace mutation is really, really good right now. I really love this mutation. It just makes your crit chance happen way more often, and it does save you uh, on some occasions to be honest, or keeps you from taking that last hit that the bug may get you on, or the bots may get you on. I do also recommend the Mertine mutation. I love this mutation. I use this mutation all the time. Um, so if you don't have those mutations, that's all right. Uh, just bear in mind that they make it a lot easier. I will also link uh, the videos in the description below if you guys do want to snag those mutations before embarking on the Pond Lab. Alrighty, so what we're going to do here is we're just going to jump directly downward. You can kind of see that blurry little white spot right there. We're going to aim for that because uh, you're going to see the tube here. And uh, that's where you're going to want to go. We're just going to follow the tube down until we see the T-Rex here. And we're just going to keep swimming this direction. Once you see the propulsion system, don't go into it just yet. There is a molar on the right side over here. So what you can do is you can allocate yourself by looking at the chest here, and then you can look directly upwards. And if you kind of swim upwards, you'll see the yellow glow or the gold glow up there. And so you do need your bone dagger to cut away the soggy root. But once you do that, you can grab your mega molar. There is another one in that chest right there. Uh, I will link the mossy key location in the description below as well. So what we're going to want to do, guys, is we're going to want to swim this direction. And if you didn't have the materials to create a slime lantern, there is another one that's just free, actually, uh, when you swim this way. So you don't really need one, I guess, at the end of the day. It's just rotten, so it'll deteriorate faster. But if you do want to snag this one, this is a free one. There's also enough materials to build one in here as well. So what we're going to do once we reach this point is we're going to lightly tap the biometric scanner here. Once you have unlocked the lab here, what we're going to do is we are going to run over to this power grid control here. You're going to smack this and it's going to activate the electricity that allows you to activate the dials out there. So you can come in here, uh, there's some materials in here, and there is a research note. Once you kill this guy, we did add some new animations to the spicy katana here, as well as the other items. So you can pick up your hams test day 15 research note if you do in fact want that. There are some fiber bandages here as well that you can snag if you did take damage as well. So then what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to run this way. And you're simply just going to dive right back in.
And I like to go and hit the left dial first, but it's totally your preference. You can really activate them in any order. Um, but I usually go to the left one first. So you simply just go up to it, smack the dial. You'll see it turn green right there. And then the second dial we're aiming for is within this root section here. There are some spiders in here. Uh, they're pretty easy to dodge if you have high swim speed. Then you can smack this dial and then you can swim out this way. Alrighty, so we are aiming for the sunken part of the lab over here and you'll find the entrance on the other side here. So you can come in here. There is a jet that blocks you. I like to just sit here to just see like when it finishes. Uh, to swim past it, because it'll, it's kind of annoying sometimes, to be honest. So what you're going to want to do now is you're going to want to hang it right here. There is a scabby far beyond. Actually, the first time I did this, I missed that scabby, kind of uniquely hidden over there. Um, you will find a molar right here, so if you want to cut that away, use your <laughs> bone dagger to snag that. But your third dial will be located right here. So you can slap that dial, and then your yellow exclamation mark will appear. So if you don't want to take splatter damage, which most of the time you do, you can just wait for that propulsion. And then, if you are a WoW player, you will be very accustomed to this yellow exclamation mark here. But you're going to want to aim for it to get into the lab. As you can see, all the dials are now green and the lab is activated, or the entrance is at least. So the only door you have access to right now is the one next to this broken glass here. So what we're going to do is we're going to run this way. Going down that way just takes you back to the materials room. So if you want any more materials, you can go back down that way. You will find another hams test day 36 research note here. Uh, you can snag that if you do in fact want that. And then what we're going to do guys is we're going to run this direction here. This is where you will in fact need your slime lantern, so if you didn't equip it earlier, I would equip it now. You come down this way, and if you swim down here, you will find a chest located right here. It just has some new upgrade material, tough nuggets in there as well. So if you want to grab those, you are welcome to those. So you're going to want to swim this way, and then you're going to want to go up here. Through here, there is a spider in this area, so just bear that in mind, as well as another scabby. So if you want to snag that scabby down there, as you can see, I'm looking at it right now, you can just uh, break away that clay. So the spider is right here. You can like dodge him pretty easily if you just swim around him. There is some debris. I didn't dodge him, unfortunately, but there is that debris right there that you can use to kind of block him. This is your terminal here. You can smack the keys and it will activate more doors within the lab here. Uh, it also activates the Tazbot protocol, I guess you'd call it, where the Tazbots activate. There's another research note right here that you can snag if you are so inclined. Some style nuggets as well, if you do in fact want those. So, coming up to this next room here, Better than starving, you will find your army of Tazbots up ahead. Let me just make sure I'm on everything. Up here. So once you do in fact kill all of your pad bots, you can snag their raw science here. And then you can continue. You can also come over here and smack this key and it will allow you access back to your um, restroom over there so if you want to grab that but the direction you want to go is of the footsteps so you can follow the footsteps this way up here there are some more fiber bandages here if you did in fact lose some health bear in mind there will be some taz bots in this next room so just keep that in mind he didn't push me unfortunately i love the new uh weapon animations that they added. Alrighty, so once you do in fact kill those Tazbots, there is another Scabby right here that I have already picked up, but you can snag that if you do in fact want that. Uh, some more, t another tough nugget here as well. 
Another chest over here if you want to grab some style nuggets or tough nuggets. What you're going to do next, guys, is you're going to come up this way. And you will find your pond super chip just uh, floating. It's supposed to be sitting on that chair there, but uh, apparently it's just floating here. Anyway, so this next part, I do recommend you do this yourselves. I hate reviewing this because I think it's one of the coolest parts of this lab. But what you can do is you can smack this keyboard and it will open up the dome so you can in fact see the pond from inside the lab. One of the coolest parts of the lab if you do ask me. So you can snag your pond super chip here if you do in fact want that. And then what we're gonna do guys, is we're gonna run back this way. To exit the lab, as the labs always do have an exit. So what you can do is you can come here and run down this way. And you will find a little chute that you can take back outside into the pond here. Oh, make sure not to uh, anger the koi here. All right, guys. So that concludes the Pond Lab tutorial remake. If you did find this useful and or helpful, please drop me a like. And as always, guys, stay safe out there.